man oh man this should be fun hey guys it's me james welcome to my channel um i'm a christian youtuber and i like to talk about things that interest me and today i want to talk about why christians should literally seriously i don't even know why we have to say this stop supporting kanye west Kanye west went on alex jones today and has said some really crazy stuff it's a super long super super long interview or conversation or show whatever that was and I actually watched like an hour and a half of it because I was really curious where this was going and um yeah I, I just we can stop making excuses for him now I've never gone on anywhere in public and ever been like yeah I support Kanye West because when he became a Christian um he was doing his Sunday service stuff it was cool but to me it was like this guy's a new Christian he seems to be figuring out his beliefs he has this real problem with outbursts and things like that i don't think me as a christian or any christian should be so desperate for celebrity um what is it acceptance that we should just be like everything kanye west does is good right and kanye west has said some really crazy stuff and for some people i think he was great right he became a christian he makes good music he's cool and he likes Trump. For some Christians, I mean, that was just like it. So I had the balls because I had enough balls to put on this hat. I, I mean, this Adidas thing made me a billionaire. And we all know how much um, conservatives love when rappers support Donald Trump. The things one of the big superstars of the world, Little Pimp. <laughs> there he is up here. Come on up here. Does everyone know who he is? Hello, everybody. How y'all? How you guys feeling? Yeah, that's funny. He called him Little Pimp, but his name's actually Little Pump, a washed-up rapper for sure. But this is a real problem. Like this idea for a lot of conservatives is we need celebrities to affirm us because Hollywood's against us and the elite are against us and all this stuff there. And so sometimes you're willing to make, I guess, um, what's the word, Al allegiances with people who are not very good people or speakers or best representatives for your movement and as a christian i don't want someone like kanye west who says things like well because hitler was a christian he had good things about him that's absurd that's the last person our faith wants to be tied to is hitler i mean this just should go without saying i guess you know and it's just weird and for most people for most people and most christians they're going to sit there and be like yeah that's insane but there's a segment of the charismatic church in particular that will continually try and support them. And it's because some of you guys have very strange views. And look, as someone who's a continuous, I wouldn't consider myself a charismatic. There's so many problems with the charismatic church. And this is just another one of them. False prophets, hanging on to celebrities, allegiances with the most wildest of characters. Kanye West is wrong. He's anti-Semitic and he's a racist. Saying... I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and give you guys a history lesson because most people watch this understand what the Nazis did and why that's bad. But what I will say is that for the Christians in our life, for our brothers and sisters who don't see this, I, I really compel you to read a book. Go to the Holocaust Memorial Museum. Learn about Hitler. He was bad. And when Kanye West says something like, yeah, I like Hitler and um, yeah, I love Jews, but and all this stuff there, he is just spewing anti-Semitic nonsense. I mean, the stuff he's saying is stereotypes that go back years and years and years. And then also, I really hate when people say this, but I just want to support him in his free speech. Okay, you know how I'm going to support Kanye West in his free speech? I'm going to bait his bad ideas. That's the beauty of free speech. You going around saying, well, at least he has a right to say it, is not helpful to anybody because he's saying it. And he's just putting his foot in his mouth. And that's not a real thing. We should be defending the truth as Christians. And the truth of the matter is, Hitler was a bad guy responsible for murdering millions of people who led his country into chaos, who destroyed hundreds, I mean, just tons of people's lives, messed up all of Europe, and actually, because of his results, had spread communism and emboldened the Stalin regime, leading to more millions of deaths, which also helped the Chinese regime, which helped, because I know how much you guys hate communists, charismatic video, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just frustrated because this is crazy. The stuff I see on the internet is Christian creators going on trying to defend Kanye West. Here's Chris Yoon. Chris Yoon is a charismatic Christian. He's he's a heretic. He's a false prophet. He has made false prophecies. His theology is bad. I will call him a heretic, but he claims to be a Christian. Um, and he made this whole video about how like 
Kanye West can be chosen by God. You guys can take a look if you think I'm exaggerating. The video is a whole mess, and he goes back and forth on, well, I'm still not sure what he thinks Kanye West is. But I wonder if he will track that video after today. Because Kanye West, I don't know if he's being used by God or not. If it is, man, that's confusing. And I thought our God was not a God of confusion. I don't understand, right? I get in certain Christian circles the idea that the elite are the problem of everything or demons and all that stuff there. I mean, like, I get it. It makes the world simple. It's easy. These people are bad. They're the reason why everything is a problem. If we get rid of them, then everything gets better. See how, though, that leads to other problems? See how that can lead to racism? If you believe that the globalists are lead by all these Jewish people, all these Jewish people are the problems in the media, everything else, See how it can kind of lead to what happened in Nazi Germany? Because that's the stuff they were saying, which led to the death of 6 million Jews and destroyed the entire continent of Europe. <sighs> it's pretty gross. It's pretty gross, and I hate that we have to like keep on going back to stuff over and over and over. This is well-documented history. You know, this is nonsensical. Racism is bad, guys. It's really bad, you know. I just, I don't understand why there's Christians trying to support Kanye West. We don't want to be attached to a racist or to an anti-Semite. We want to be attached to people who have sound doctrine, who have a good worldview, who can articulate themselves well, who are displaying the fruits of the Spirit. Kanye West has done enough interviews in the last few months to show none of that. None of that at all. He's not playing billion D chess He's just a guy saying stuff. And I don't know his mental state or not, but at some point we can just say, no, I don't support that. That's absolutely absurd. If you're so anti-woke, you become sleep deprived that you're kind of just missing the point. I'm really scared that a lot of people are going to lead into white supremacy or to um, some type of supremacist movement or anti-Semitic movement because Kanye West is influential and because so many of our young people are so like trying to break the matrix, you know, and they're in this red pill space and these charismatic prophetic Christian spaces that they're going to end up listening to someone like Kanye West and they're going to be susceptible, you know, susceptible to basically white supremacy and really actual real conspiracy theories like all Jews are bad. And as someone who is part of an ethnic minority, I have seen the results of what happens when people think lowly of you or think there's something fundamentally wrong with your culture or your genetics. And it usually doesn't end good at all. And guys, we don't, we don't have to support someone just because they say they love Jesus, man. I'm someone who has been to a church that had a lot of homeless people and a lot of people who had serious mental issues. And they would say things all the time that were just absolutely crazy and weren't based in reality. But they, and they would say, well, I love Jesus and I love the Lord. And the best kindest thing we could do for them was to help them be into actual reality, not into living in falsehoods and fake realities. And I think just, just, I think in particular, I'm really going hard on the charismatic church in particular. I think a lot of charismatic churches don't like reality because it's easier to blame demons on everything and to blame the elite or the Jews or whatever it is. Gosh, this video is probably not going to get seen. YouTube is going to crush it because of all the words I'm using. But this is important stuff. We as Christians love the truth and we love love and we love displaying the gifts and the fruit of the spirit. And there's nothing that Kanye West is doing that shows that.